Is America setting up military bases in Pakistan? Why do we ask this question? Because American troops are leaving Afghanistan. 11 September 2021, that's the deadline for the full withdrawal. The question is, where will they go next? Are they headed to Pakistan? Why should they be? Because Afghanistan is still unfinished business. America's longest war has ended without a win for any side. And they don't want to leave Kabul to its fate. The stakes are simply too high for that. So will America watch Afghanistan from Pakistan? Recent events suggest that this is a possibility. Tonight on Gravitas, we're joining the dots and decoding the signals from Washington and Islamabad. The first piece of this puzzle is a new military base. Reports say Pakistan wants to open a new air base in the Nasirabad area of Balochistan. Why is this significant? Because Balochistan, as you can see, borders Afghanistan. Now, these plans have triggered intense speculation in Pakistan. A military base close to Afghanistan is exactly what America needs. Is Pakistan then building this base for the Americans? Well, on the record, the answer is no. Pakistan says it will not provide any base to Americans. What do the Americans say? Well, they're keen on keeping some of their troops near Afghanistan. Two reasons why. One, it will help America keep the Taliban in check. And two, American troops will be able to assist Afghans with counter-terrorism operations while also staying out of Afghanistan. This works well for the U.S. Recently, General Kenneth McKenzie Jr., the commander of America's Central Command, made a statement. He said the Biden administration is consulting with Afghanistan's neighbors about stationing troops. Now, this central command, you must know, is in charge of the war in Afghanistan. And its commander, the commander of the central command, says they are talking to Afghanistan's neighbors. The next statement came from David Helvey. He is a top official of the U.S. Defense Department. And he confirmed what the general claimed. He said America is indeed discussing ways to maintain some military presence around Afghanistan. Listen to this. We're working to reposition our counterterrorism capabilities, including by retaining assets in the region to prevent a reemergence of a terrorist threat to the United States homeland from Afghanistan and to hold the Taliban to its commitments to ensure that Al Qaeda does not once again gain a foothold there or that ISIS or any other terrorist group uh, could use Afghanistan as a base to attack us. Retaining assets in the region, he says. Let's look at the region then. Besides Pakistan, Afghanistan shares its borders with four countries, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. So America does have choices, but it still sees Pakistan as its best choice. That's because Pakistan has provided a base for American military in the past. Islamabad might deny it, but it's a matter of record. In his testimony to lawmakers, David Helvey spoke about the role that Pakistan has been playing in America's wars. He confirmed that Pakistan has given overflight access to American troops, which means America can use Pakistani airspace for military operations in Afghanistan. And this is just one case. Pakistan has a history of assisting the military of the United States. And this dates back to 1959. That's when General Ayub Khan, the then dictator of Pakistan, allowed America to use an airbase in Peshawar. The Pakistani airbase was used for intelligence gathering and for spying on the erstwhile Soviet Union. Then when General Parvez Musharraf took power, he allowed America to use as many as five Pakistani bases. They provided logistical support for American military units in Afghanistan. This was from 2001 to 2014. That's long after Musharraf left. Officially, the United States does not have any military bases in Pakistan today. But back in 2012, WikiLeaks had found that America has, quote-unquote, several facilities in Pakistan that serve a military purpose. And this claim was described as an open secret. American special forces, too, have been deployed inside Pakistan. A leak from American embassies had revealed this in the year 2010. Small teams of U.S. special forces were secretly embedded with the Pakistani military. So for the American forces, Pakistan is familiar turf. But in recent years, their engagement certainly has declined. Reports say there has been virtually no military cooperation between the U.S. and Pakistan since the year 2016. And in the last four years, Pakistan has not purchased any American weapons. You could say that's because they don't have the money. 
But here's another reason. Since 2016, China has also effectively replaced America and Pakistan. China is now the chief financier of Pakistan and a major arms supplier too. In five years, Beijing has tightened its grip on not just the economy of Pakistan, but also the security establishment. It has Islamabad and Rawalpindi firmly in its grip. Beijing is now trying to influence the future of Afghanistan too, and there are growing fears that China may be trying to replace America in Afghanistan. And China may not appreciate the presence of American military in Pakistan. So the Americans will have Beijing to contend with as they explore their options with Islamabad. The question then is, what incentives is America likely to offer Pakistan in order to get access to its military bases? It can offer to sell more weapons, that's one option, perhaps even resume security aid. And that's a sore point with Pakistan. Remember in 2018, Donald Trump froze a package worth $300 million to Pakistan. Will they start giving this money now? American officials were asked about this. They refused to comment. Now, what if Pakistan refuses to play ball? Does America have other options? Yes, it does. In the past, US forces have been deployed to bases in Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. So if Pakistan is out of the equation, which would be a good idea, Central Asia could play a vital role in ensuring stability in Afghanistan. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.